Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I will be telling you about some looping statements like some features of looping. So what exactly is looping means in Java is like we have to do some particular amount of task some at same time again and again again and again till some conditions are fulfilled yeah until some conditions are fulfilled okay like for say you can say this is your basket and you have to keep putting the eggs until the basket is been full so you will do this work till how how many times you have to do this work until you have put the eggs and the basket is full okay so as soon as your basket will become full you will stop putting the eggs so you were repeating of you were repeating the task to put the eggs in the basket till the condition was true that your basket was empty as soon as your basket become full you stopped putting the eggs in the basket okay so you were repeating certain task and what was the ta that task that you have to put oh, pick up an egg and put it in the basket so in the same way there is a looping statement in java like you can repeat some amount of code again and again until some conditions are fulfilled or some the conditions are true i will give you a very easy example rather than going into more complexity okay so what i will do let's say like i have to go for okay so what i will do let's see okay um let's have a statement let's say hello and i want this hello statement to be printed thousand time in my computer okay so if had it would been 10 times that i would have simply written system dot out dot print ln 10 times and would have done cut copy paste but doing this work thousand time is very time consuming and you have to write 10 thousand thousand lines okay you have to write those thousand lines but with using for while and do while these are the three looping statements that help us to repeat certain tasks for a fixed amount of time or rather for a fixed period until the condition is true okay so let's go ahead and see how this first let's go for the for loop and then we will discover more about these while loop and do while loop so what does for loop do in for loop we have the ability this is a for is a keyword that helps us to inform that we have to repeat some task so here i will first initialize the values like what will be the starting point of my doing something what will be my starting point and what will be the condition that i have to stop doing this and then i have to update or give my update that what till where i have been doing and this will be my body that i will repeat again and again again and again again and again okay let's take a very easy example um, let me just drag this whiteboard ahead and let's go so if i took like for and let's take i is equals to 5 while i is less than equals to 10 and i plus plus okay so what i will do if i want to print till 5 to 10 i will produce the for loop and here i will just for the short sake i will just write here sopln i i will print the value of i okay so let's run this again here i value will be first 5 it will check and it will first check whether i is less than equals to 10 yes our condition is true then i will do this work what is the work i have to print i i will be printed okay 5 will be printed then i will update my work status okay so what is the i plus plus so what is the value of i here 5 5 plus 1 gives me 6 so it will be 6 again i will check after updating myself whether i am on the end of the condition or not so 6 is less than equals to 10 condition is true so i can keep doing my work so it will be again i will go at i and i will print it what is the value of i it's 6 and 6 will be printed now again i will update myself it will be i plus plus so i now i will become 7 i will check whether i have reached the end point or not no 7 i less than equals to 10 condition is still true so i have to do a work again so again i will print i that will be 7 will be printed again i will go up and then i will be incremented i will be what now it will be 8 and after 8 it will check i have to stop or not so 8 is less than equal to 10 condition is still false so we is still true so 8 will be printed and then again i have to update myself it will be 9 9 is less than equal to 10 condition is still true i will come in the loop and then 9 will be printed i will go update myself it will be 10 10 is less than equal to 10 
टेन इज नॉट लेस देन बट टेन इज इक्वल टू टेन सो कंडीशन इज ट्रू एंड देन आई अगेन टेन विल बी प्रिंटेड हियर नाउ आई विल अपडेट माई सेल्फ इट विल बी इलेवन नाउ आई विल चेक इलेवन लेस देन इक्वल टू टेन कंडीशन इज फॉल्स दैट इज आई हैव रीच द बेंच मार्क एंड आई हैव टू स्टॉप माई वर्क सो आई विल कम आउट ऑफ द लूप एंड नथिंग विल बी प्रिंटेड एंड आई स्टॉप द लूप दिस इज हाउ एग्जैक्टली योर फॉल लूप वर्क आई विल गिव यू अ प्रैक्टिकल ग्लिम्स ऑल्सो this is i have written again a same type of a code here i have initialized the value here i have condition and here i am updating okay so here what i did i said that okay start from 10 and stop till 15 and keep incrementing one by one so i will just run this and you can see we got 10 11 um just a second yes i got 10 11 12 13 14 printed okay so instead you can see i just write two lines and in two lines i will able to get 10 to 14 values okay 10 to 14 the values ab uh, you would have been writing it using for loop or instead of for loop state system dot order print ln again you have to write how many lines you would have written five lines system dot order print ln value of x is 10 then again system dot order print ln value of x is 11 and so on so this is very easy to do i hope now you will be able to implement your for loop after this for loop we have is while loop so let's jump on, jump on to the while loop it is also very easy and same as to the for loop so what does while loop do for while loop i will use the keyword while and here i will have my condition okay and before here i will initialize whatever the benchmark from where i have to start here is my benchmark and here i will write the body or the statements that i want to be executed again and again and after the body only i will just update myself like where i am so this is your while loop how this your while loop works so i will just write another while loop for you like here while x is less than 10 and let's take the value of x initially as 7 okay and here is the body let's say let's print out the value of x only i will write in short system dot out dot print ln x and then i will increase the value of x plus 1 simple so now what will happen x is equals to 7 it will check come inside the loop it will check here x is less than 7 less than 10 yes 7 is less than 10 condition is true then print x so i will print x x is what 7 7 will be printed after that i will increment the value of 7 so i will update it will be now 8 okay again i will go again i will check the condition is 8 less than 10 condition true i will again execute the while loop it will be sop ln x so what will be now x what is the value of x 8 8 will be printed again i will update 8 and it will make it to 9 i will again go back to the condition and check do i have to repeat this yes 9 is less than 10 i have to repeat this so it will be sop ln x 9 will be printed after that i will again update myself it will be now 10 i will check 10 is less than 10 let's see 10 is less than 10 no 10 is equal to 10 but not less than so the condition is false and i will come out of the loop so this is how my while loop is working so i hope now you got the glimpse of the while loop too let me give you a practical example of this also um let's give it and just make i will make few changes here and let i will do for the while so i will give it and let's take here int x equals to mm, 10 and then let's take it our own values only x equals to 7 that i gave you for the example so that you can just coordinate here very well it will be x equals to 10 i put the value and here i will just increase the x value x is equals to x plus 1 Okay, so what we were getting the value as the output was seven, eight, nine. Let's see whether this output comes out to be true here or not. So let's run this, and yes, seven, eight, nine is printed. That's great. We got our values. Okay, so this was the while loop. Now next type of the loop that we have is do while. Okay, do while and while are quite simple, and they are quite resemblings to each other. But only one difference that we have in the while loop and do while is here also i will initialize the values i will do some work okay not while it will be do and i will do some work i will do here some work okay so whatever the work has to be done and i will update here also after doing the work and here i will check the condition okay first i will do the work then i will check the condition 
okay so you can say that do is a quite lenient person it will first do the work and then it will later on check what is the condition i have to do but what was while doing while was a very strict person he or she first checked the condition and if the condition was true then only they do some work else they won't do any work but whereas do is a very lenient person he said okay first i will do the work then i will check the condition so what happens here the do will do the work at least one time but if if the condition is false do will do the work at least one time because first the body will be executed then the condition was checked but if here the condition is false while won't do the work at least one time also he will not do the work or you can say he will not even touch the work also so let's do this entire thing again and in the while only you just have to make sure you just have to write here okay rather than doing this i will just x is equal to x plus 1 you just write here itself only copy this and just write here i will just write here do and here after this i will write here while and put a semicolon simple so let's see whether our program it will give the same output as simple as that okay but had it been the condition false let give it at 71 so you will see one time the value of x that is 71 will be printed despite the fact we know that the condition is false because x is less than 10 so 71 is less than 10 condition is false but still do was a lenient person he did the work for once and yes we got once at once do did the work and we got the output so that's the speciality of do so i hope now you are able to understand the do while and do do while while and for loop okay so after studying these bodies we have another type of some words you can say is first i have is a break statement so what does this break statement do whenever we are in a for loop or a while loop or a do while loop if we encounter this break statement what it will do it will make us move out of the loop despite of or in spite of taking care whether my work was complete or not break is a very strict person he whenever he or she sees that i if this word has been encountered he or she will take us out of the loop or if we say no no my work is not complete still my condition is executing it is true i will do he or she don't care they just come out of the loop okay so let's say for example i have taken here you can see i is from 1 to 10 and we are just printing the values of i but what happened i have put a condition like if whenever i value is equals to 5 i will just put system order println and i will ha i have put in here break so what break did break made me move out of the line okay it made me move out of this line or rather you can say out of this for loop it said oh i am encountered now i will make sure that everyone comes out of the loop so what happened here as soon as the i value came out to be 5 i is 5 as soon as i came out to be 5 this ca came out to be true okay so this came okay i just removed this this condition becomes true and we have to come out of the loop because break keyword was encountered because break keyword is a very strict person as soon as it is encountered I, you can say they both are enemies for and break as soon as the break come they say no even one only one person can execute so break executed break has more powers it executed and it made sure that for is not able to work now and he came out of the for loop so you can see where we were using the for loop so when we put i equals to 1 i less than equals to 10 so we know that from 1 to 10 every digit should have been printed but here at 5 when i will be equals to 5 we encountered break and are only i equals to 1 i equals to 2 i equals to 3 i equals to 4 and i at i equals to 5 we have to come out okay so we don't have any choice because break was encountered since our condition came out to be true when i was equals to 5 so this is the break statement okay so it don't let us to work and i will run this again for you and you can see now had it been I made it to be i equals to 6, let's make it i equals to 6, so 5 would have also worked and at 6 we would have come out, uh, let's take this and i equals to 6, at i equals to 6, 6 was printed and then it was by, ok so this is basically about your break, after break I have another thing is, um, let me just write down here, let me erase this and again I will write, is after break I have is continue okay sorry this pen for this pen so it's continue what continue do is like whenever this keyword is encountered 
instead of after this keyword whatever the lines are written we don't run those lines and continue take us to the updation part of the statements like in the for loop i told you there are three things that is initialization condition checking and their update so here in this for loop if i got this continue keyword and there are many lines written after continue it won't execute it will take me directly to the updation part of the for loop and it will say you do these things later on i am going to the updation part and rather or the condition checking part okay so let's go and directly run it on the id so you can see here i is working from 1 to 10 and when i got 5 so i will say continue i don't want two other statements to be executed when the value of i is equals to 5 so as soon as this continue will encounter this statement won't be working working for 5 okay so let's see so you can see the output can be predicted very easily 1 to 10 all the words will be numbers will be printed but only this i equals to 5 i made it continue so this statement was left unexecuted and 5 won't be printed so let's run this and see um, let's run it again and i think i just didn't save the program this and let's run it okay so and i run it the program and you can see 1 2 3 4 and you can see here 5 has been missed why 5 has been missed because before I would be able to print the 5 continue was executed and it, it took me to the updation part and the condition checking part rather than printing the statement and that's the sad story of continue that 5 was unable to print its value. So I hope now you will be able to understand this continue statement also. These are the basic branching statements that you should know and you can try your, at your own some other different conditions like putting instead of 5 you can put 6 and you can see now this time 6 won't be printed. And here you can see 5 has been printed but 6 is not printed. 6 got missed this time. That's it for this video. Meet you in the next video. Thank you.